to bsc statistics students you see uh, i'm explaining problems here uh, problems of uh, two sample means problems of two sample means you know in which uh, i'm explaining uh, one such this is uh, one regular regularly uh, you will get this particular problem in the examination okay repeated question in the examination chudandi the data uh, see the problem here the data of lifetime of two types of electrical bulbs is given below the such a table is given type of bulb a type b type size 50 70 average lifetime in hours 1980 hours 2010 hours standard deviation in hours 80 60 so data is given according to this data can we assume that lifetime of type a is superior to type b at 1% level so it is a very simple question very simple question n1 n2 are given n for type a n1 x bar and s1 s1 is sample standard deviation uh, for size b type b type b of electrical bulb size n2 average y bar standard deviation s2 so the given values are n1 is equal to 50 x bar is equal to 1980 hours Uh, and s1 is equal to 80 similarly n2 is equal to 70 y bar is equal to 2010 and s2 is equal to 60 so this is the data is given which means uh, regarding the population standard deviation sigma 1 and sigma 2 which are not given sigma 1 sigma 2 are not given that is this is ks2 sigma 1 sigma 2 are not given therefore we have to estimate with s1 s2 That is sigma one cron is equal to s one is equal to eighty and sigma two cron is equal to s two is equal to sixty. It is going sigma two is estimated by sigma two that is s two sigma two cron is equal to s two is equal to sixty. Therefore, this is case two. It is very clear. Now we have to consider four important uh, points. First one null hypothesis. What is null hypothesis? H naught mu one is equal to mu two. H naught mu one is equal to mu two. that is lifetime of the electrical bulbs of two types are equal why we are considering that we have it is question is given in that we have to test whether the lifetime of type a is superior to type b according to the data we have to test whether the lifetime of type a is superior to type b simply you can remember that uh, the type of electrical bulb a that is type a of electrical bulbs uh, are superior to the type b of electrical bulbs that is we have to test for which you have to consider in the null hypothesis that uh, always equal to that is uh, the lifetime of the electrical bulbs of two types are equal the lifetime of electrical bulbs of the two types are equal that is h not mu1 is equal to mu2 next coming to the alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis h1 mu1 greater than mu2 that is uh, uh, type 1 is superior which means uh, type 1 is superior whether we have to test type 1 is superior or, or not uh, than to type b therefore mu 1 refers to type a lifetime of the average lifetime of the type a of the population mu 2 average lifetime of uh, type b of the population second population so therefore mu 1 greater than mu 2 means uh, the lifetime lifetime of electrical bulbs of type a is superior to type b therefore mu1 is greater than mu2 we should we should consider that is it is one tile test greater than therefore it is one tile test so these are the null and alternate hypothesis now coming to the test statistic under h0 test statistic under h0 what we have to consider in the test statistic we have to consider first of all which case it is here the case is sigma 1 and sigma 2 are not known which this is the case in this case that is sigma 1 is equal to sigma 1 and sigma 2 are not known then z is equal to x bar minus y bar by x bar minus y bar by square root of s1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2 which follows n01 that is substitute the values x bar 1980 minus y bar 2010 divided by square root of 80 square divided by 50 plus y bar uh, s2 square 60 square divided by n1 n2 not n1 n2 it is 70 s1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2 
after substituting the values calculate this simplify this value calculate this value it is minus 2.24 so therefore you have to consider in the fourth point comparison and conclusion in which the point you have to calculate modulus of z is equal to it is negative then you have to consider positive because modulus mm, modulus of z is equal to 2.24 now tabulated value how to obtain secondly z alpha is equal to at one tile test and uh, level of significance is given in the problem it is one percent level you refer the problem it was specified that it is one person test at one percent level therefore we have to consider in the conclusion the second point is z alpha for one percent level of significance and for one tile test the from the standard normal tables z alpha value is 2.33 therefore uh, now if you compare with uh, uh, 2.24, 2.24 is less than 2.33, therefore modulus of z is less than z alpha, which implies h naught is accepted. What is h naught? The lifetime of the electrical bulbs of the two types are equal. That is, uh, the lifetime of the electrical bulbs of two types A and B are equal. Do you understand this? This is what the test procedure for two sample means. Uh, in the case sigma 1, sigma 2 are not known. This is most repeated question. Thank you.